Marijuana has been making front page news in the last year. In October, Switzerland decriminalized the drug by relaxing pot regulations. Anyone over 18 caught with 10 grams or less will simply pay a fine and go about their business. In November, voters in the U.S. states of Washington and Colorado expressed majority support for legalization. And in December, Uruguay became the first nation to legalize the drug for medical and recreational use. Now, one of the smallest nations in the world is studying the big impact legalization could have on its 100,000 people. Our correspondent Stephen Gibbs goes to the island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines to explore the possibility of pot. This island nation is a place where, along with the reggae and calypso music, marijuana, or ganja as it's called here, has long been part of the culture. But perhaps surprisingly, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, like all its Caribbean neighbours, has very clear laws prohibiting the possession and production of the drug. That may be about to change. Ralph Gonzalez, the leftist prime minister who's governed here for the last 13 years, thinks his country's drug policy needs to move with the times. Look, a guy who has a human, somebody, a young person, anybody, who has a spliff, why are you going to lock up a fella for a half, a half an ounce of marijuana? He smokes it behind his grandmother's house. He doesn't pass in front of the police station with a spliff in his mouth and shout into the police, hey, they Babylon, look at I, man. He's not in contumelous disregard of the law. Why are you going to lock him up? Uh, chance of that, I love that. <laughs> and in a wide-ranging interview, the Prime Minister went further, saying he believes this tiny country, its population is just 110,000, should look into producing homegrown medical marijuana. There are 20 states in the U.S. of A with medical marijuana, with control growing. Now it's going to expand. That's 20 states out of 50. That is 40% of the great U.S. of A. And the federal government is not enforcing federal law in those states in relation to marijuana. They respect the local decision of the people. Are we going to wait in the region until the horse has bolted? When we will import from the United States marijuana for medical purposes? Or are we going to look at it and see whether we can build an industry out of it? A worldwide movement for legalization of the drug is growing. This was Washington State in the U.S. in 2012, on the day that its laws were relaxed on marijuana's recreational use. And this was the Senate in Uruguay last December, when legislators there made the South American country the first place in the world to legalize the use and production of the drug. St. Vincent is in fact already a significant exporter of marijuana, but it's not grown legally. It's produced in hidden fields here in the north of the island. We got in touch with two sisters who have their own ganja farm. It's a long hike up the hill. Too far, it seems, for the local authorities to make much effort to impose the law. These women asked that we did not hide their identities, and they say they feel all this would be better if it were legal. It's a good idea because actually we could be more motivated with the ganja, marketing more, other people get to see what we cultivate. What about the people who say it's, it's bad for you, that this is a drug that's bad for society and bad for people? What do you think? Well, I don't think it's bad because I've been using it for how many years now as a medica medicine and I think it's good for my health, but sometimes you can't overdo it. Who do you sell the marijuana to? Well, actually, it's people come from abroad and they buy it, and we market it out. And does the police ever come and, and say, look, you can't grow this? Is there any...? Well, that's why we hide out like this. That's why we hide out from the police, them. 
Because me not say police, me call them beasts. Beasts? Yeah, I call them beasts, the blood suckers, because the minute them see you plant this, they will ready to hunt you down and they will charge you a lot for it. So you have to hide up yourself. If you notice, there is a lot of trees. You can't see. You cannot see this side. So you have to come all the way up to the top. And do you make good money out of this? Have you? If we have produced it good, yes, we have good money about it. Good money with it, but same sometimes like any other produce, same like any other production you pl you plant, and sometimes good and sometimes sometime bad. bad. So when it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's bad. But even when it's bad, we still feel good. But will small-scale marijuana farmers like this feel quite so good if they find themselves competing with what might yet become industrialized U.S. production of the drug? A former prime minister of these islands has his doubts. The other thing, of course, is, as I have told the marijuana growers, you are making profit out of this exercise because it is illegal. If it is legalized, it doesn't mean you will be able to compete. You will be suffering the same problem that we face with Chiquita on bananas, and the cost of transport and all of that kind of thing to the United States. It doesn't mean that if we legalize it, we will be in the business. Sir James believes tiny island states like this have to face the reality that they can't go it alone. I will be cautious until I got the green light from the US and the UK. I even brought up the subject with Mrs. Thatcher. She said, no way, you will be murdering people. Now, this discussion couldn't start, let's face it, before people in the US of A began to address it in the way in which they're addressing it. Could you imagine if St. Vincent and the Grenadines had initiated such a discussion? The federal government would have closed it down. The federal government of the US of A, they would have asked, is, is Ralph has gone crazy? I would have been, there would be a propaganda war against me, which is just out of this world. Yeah. But you have... You have 20 governors in the, in, in, in the USA and senators in state legislatures and assemblymen and women agreeing to medical marijuana and in some cases the alterations to the law regarding possession of it. The debate has most certainly started and that is having a knock-on effect in many corners of the world.